So today we are going to start to talk about phase transformation. We uh, in the beginning of this semester, we talk about uh, phenomena, fundamental phenomena of so-called uh, diffusion, right? The mass transport without a global moment by atomic random motion of diffusion. We talk about uh, the uh, governing equations of diffusion, first law, second law. We talked about the diffusion for so-called interstitial for one species much smaller than the rest of the species. Interstitial or if they are similar size, we talk about so-called uh, substitutional diffusion, specifically where the so-called uh, vacancy mechanism, right? Um, then we talk about, okay, the so-called Kirkendall effect. We talked about the Darkens equation to explain Kirkendall effect. And we talk about, okay, what what if the diffusion happening along specific size of, let's say, green boundaries. And then we talk about diffusion if it's in only in one phase, which is most the case, or involving two phases, okay. And uh, then we talk about uh, the energy for surface and interfaces in the second portion for what's the energy for a perfect uh, crystal surface, what's the energy for, okay, if it's at a certain angle away from a perfect uh, low index plane, what is the surface energy? And then we talk about green boundary energy, we talk about low angle tilt boundary, the, uh, what? The high angle special twinning boundary, and then some additional, um, green boundary and then we talk about the interface interfaces right between two different phases how do we understand uh, the the energy the so-called coherent semi-coherent right these things would arrive only when the two sides are very different right if it's the same material we don't call it uh, uh, so much coherent incoherent it's just green boundary for different material different phases both solid phase we talk about these things and then we talk about how would these parameters impact the so-called microstructure of the material okay so from now on we're going to move towards the remaining part of this class which is phase transformation going from one phase to another phase which probably many of you have uh, learned it uh, before the first topic we are going to talk about which the simplest one is so-called solidification going from liquid to solid that's the simplest one in terms of phase transformation to understand uh, while in this lecture about uh, so-called homogeneous nucleation okay before we go in there we first generally talk a little bit about so-called phase transformation phase transformation it's going from one phase to another phase, and uh, that will be so-called uh, heterogeneous transformation. Heterogeneous means not uniform. Hetero, at a specific location, heterogeneous transformation. It's happening at uh, only particular locations, at uh, the material surface, at the interface interfaces, okay, at uh, the green boundaries. It's always involves, quite often involves the creation and the migration of an interface. The transition region between one phase, uniform chemically, physically, versus another phase. It always involves a creation and migration of that interface. And uh, most cases it will go through the so-called nucleation and growth process to get something first small size and then for that small size nucleate or seed to grow larger that's what we talk about and then in comparison to so-called heterogeneous nucleation that's the homogeneous nucleation homo means uniform okay it's not occurring at a specific location it's trans transforming everywhere not at a specific location, not at a surface, not specifically at a green boundary, at any place within the material, okay? And it may or may not, it may or may not involve the creation of a distinct interface. We'll talk about this gradually later, but uh, homogeneous, it's happening everywhere, and for in many cases in the beginning, they may not involve a distinct interface, which means it's very hard to tell what phase is what at the beginning, okay? And um, But the majority of the phase transformation would involve the so-called nucleation growth to get a seed 
first and then for that seed to grow. And it uh, would involve the nucleation stage, which is involves the creation of a <coughs> distinct <coughs> interface. On one side of the interface, you have one crystal structure, or at least one composition that is very different from the other side of the interface. The two sides are very di different in terms of their chemical composition, and quite often the crystal structure, or at least the lattice parameter. <coughs> okay, and then after this small seed or nuclei is formed, then the system would involve so-called migration of interface. So you see, kind of like what we learned before, the interface would pave the would lay the foundation for what we understand because nucleation growth always involve interface. We need to understand interface, the energy aspect, in order for us to continue to understand. Okay, the so-called phase transformation involving nucleation growth. Okay.